Morning flights from memory, every continent. Okay, I've got a wheel of European countries. I'm gonna spin that wheel and then I will be drawing whatever flag appears from memory. Okay, what's it gonna be? And it is, it's Ukraine, an incredibly easy one. All right, don't mind if I do, here we go. But although, you know what I'm thinking? I can't 100% remember if it's yellow on the top and blue on the bottom or the other way around. Uh, oh God, it might be the other way. No, I'm gonna lock that in and I'll be really sad if I got it wrong. Okay, computer, please reveal. We got it wrong. <laughs> Zero points, zero points, whatever. Okay, well, we failed Europe. Now let's change to Asia. Oh, that is so embarrassing. <laughs> I can't believe it. Okay, and the Asian flag we're drawing from memory is Singapore. That's an easier one. Well, open, okay. Okay, get rid of our incorrect Ukrainian flag. Oh, I'm so sad about that. <laughs> okay, and then Singapore. I don't know. Is it perfectly 50-50 with the red and the white? Or is it more like 70% white and then like a layer of red at the top? I think it's 50-50. So what we've got here is currently the Indonesian flag, but to change it into the Singapore flag, I need to add a little moon and star up in this top corner. Now, I don't know if it's just one star or if it's two, or maybe it's even three. It genuinely might be like this, you know, but I, yeah, that feels right. Okay, fill each of them in, and then I think that's what I'm gonna submit. Obviously, my moon's a bit dodgy, but each one's the Microsoft Paint version, all right? Okay, computer, please reveal the actual Singapore flag. Ooh, I needed more stars. I'm pretty close, though. Let's give me 75%, okay? Okay, now we move on to Africa. We have about 56 countries to choose from here, some of which are very difficult. I'm definitely gonna screw up here. I mean, if I got Ukraine wrong, I'm not feeling good. Here we go, what is it? Republic of the Congo! Oh God, uh, Right, I can think of the Democratic Republic of the Congo flag, but the Republic of the Congo flag, I'm not 100% sure at all. I think I'm gonna get this one really wrong. Oh, no, 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 something's just come back to me. Something, oh, yeah. I think it's three colors drawn diagonally, and I think those colors are the traditional African colours of red, yellow, and green. But I don't know what the order is. I'm going to go red on this side, I'm going to go green here, and then I'm going to go yellow in the middle. Mmm, doesn't look quite right now I see it. Maybe it does. I'm going to leave it like that, I think, because just because I can't think of anything better. All right, computer, please reveal the actual Republic of Congo flag. Okay, I'm actually not too far away. It's correct, it just needs flipping. Edit a Kai, flip it. Thank you. <laughs> and as I said, the yellow was a bit narrower in the middle. Either way, I think that's another 75% of a point. Thank you very much. All right, next is North America. We have some very easy countries on here, but we also have those very small Caribbean countries that have very specific and very difficult to draw flags. Ooh, it's Honduras. I thought we were gonna get Canada and I was gonna be very pleased. Honduras, I should be able to do quite easily though. Okay, so we start off with two stripes of that Central American blue on the top and on the bottom, just like that. Thank you very much. I'm gonna go ahead and fill both of those in. Oh, it's looking good already. And then I think we just need a lot of stars that are the shape of a H. So kind of like this. I don't know exactly how many I need. Oh, my stars are going a bit dodgy, but it doesn't matter. Oh dear, dear me. Let me try again. This is harder than it looks. <laughs> oh god, why do they keep getting stretched? Stop getting stretched, man. Oh, what are you doing over there? Move over a bit. It's not perfect, but remember, it's the Microsoft Paint ver- oh! <laughs> Why is it not centered at all? It's okay, we'll move it all over afterwards. <laughs> How's that? Wow, that looks really good, Jack. Also, quite funny to point out, I've just got a brand new top-of-the-range computer, and here I am on Microsoft Paint. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to squeeze in a little ugly star up the top. Yeah, there you go. And I'm just gonna move that over because it isn't centered at all. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> all right, let's reveal Honduras flag. Oh my god, I really overcomplicated that. There's literally five stars. How many do I have? I've added 16. <laughs> Right, I took the in the shape of a H thing far more literally than it actually is. So I think on that basis, I need just half a point. Okay, let's do South America. This one, not too bad actually, because uh, there's only 12 countries here to choose from. And they're all quite large countries for the most part. Come on. Oh, Peru. Absolutely delightful. Don't mind if I do. I'm taking that. So sometimes when the Peru flag is displayed, there is an emblem in the middle. But most of the time, there isn't. Guess which version I'm doing. That's right. I'm finished. Thank you very much. Let's reveal the Peru flag. Oh, what's that? Perfect. Well done, Jack. You are amazing. That's a full point. Here's the emblem version if you are interested. I'm really glad I didn't have to draw that llama. All right, time for Oceania. Also, fun fact for you. The first time I started recording this, I had this ticked by default. So when I spun them, it literally revealed the flag in the answer. So I restarted the recording. Anyway, here we go. 14 countries in Oceania. Many of them have very difficult and obscure flags other than 
like Australia and New Zealand, and we are starting with Naru. Ooh, I think I could do this. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's a blue background, and then I think there's a white line in the middle, like that. Oh, let me get it all straightened up for you. There you go. Maybe also it's like this. Ah, oh, I think I'm probably getting it mixed up with another flag here. Do you know what? It might be yellow. Oh, that's looking good. Okay, then I need a star. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. But it's a star that's got lots of triangles on it, so you're gonna have to bear with. Here we go. Hang on, you ready for this? Whoop! Yeah, there it is. Look at that. That's something special, that. I'm excited. If I've got this right, I'll be really proud of myself. All right, reveal the Naru flag. Oh! Amazing. <laughs> the star could have been moved slightly to the right. It's not so close. But I'm going to be honest. I think that's a full point for me there. Thank you very much. I'll take it. Okay, now we're going to do every single country. Anything could happen. Oh my God. There are so many there. I'm excited. Here we go. What's it going to be? Africa, Asia, Europe. Let's find out. And it is... Oh God. Not Guinea-Bissau. You can't be throwing Guinea-Bissau at me. Oh my God. God, I have no idea. Oh my God, wait. Some, oh my God, it's just come to me. It's just come to me. God, if you could see my little brain doing things there, that would have been fantastic. So I think I'm not going to get this exactly right, but I'll be proud of myself if I can just get some of it. And I'm pretty sure there's red on this side and then a black star. Just needs filling in. Yes, I think that's spot on. Might be incorrect. And then there's green, but I don't know how else because that's definitely not right. Is it stripey? Is there going to be green and then yellow? Uh, well, let's see what it looks like. See if it like jogs our memory. Do you know what? I mean, is that correct? If it isn't, it should be. That's a good looking African flag right there. I'm gonna have to lock that one in though because I can't think of anything else. Okay, here we go. Let's reveal it. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm a genius. How did I get Guinea-Bissau perfect, but I got Ukraine the wrong way around? Guys, if you have not already, can we get a subscribe for Guinea-Bissau? Oh, full point. Thank you. Okay, we're going to spin on all countries once again. We've now gone through every continent. And uh, what's it going to be as our second all-country flags? And it is Ooh, the Maldives. That is a one that I'm not sure on. So I know that there is a box up here, but that's all I'm... No, that's Taiwan. It's just come to me. Kind of, maybe, possibly. Is it red with a green square? I think it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's like that. And then I think I need the moon and the stars. But I'm worried I'm going to start drawing Mauritania here. I'm going to try it. There's our moon, and do I have just one star? Oh, I don't know. Okay, fill that in, and I think that's right, you know. I might be wrong, but I think that's correct. Okay, let's reveal it. Actual Maldives flag. Um, okay. Okay, so I shouldn't have had the star, and also the green box should have been a bit smaller. Let's just take half a point, and we'll say no more about it. Okay, we're going to do Europe again, because I really feel like I need to redeem myself after getting Ukraine the wrong way around. That's really quite annoying, particularly when I've done quite well the rest of the time. Okay, Poland. Yes! Now, Poland, if I'm not careful, I could get the colours the wrong way around. Is Poland this, or is Poland this? <laughs> I think it's this one, because I think the way I originally learnt this flag was by saying, well, the North Pole is up in the north, and Pole Land has the white North Pole's snow and stuff on the north of the flag as opposed to the south. So that is what I'm locking in. I know it's quite an easy one, but I thought Ukraine was easy. Let's reveal it. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> All right, what we're going to do is we're going to do North America, hopefully get one of the cool Caribbean ones, and then after, I'm going to do all countries to finish. And if I don't nail the flag on the final one, I have to have a shot of vodka. But for now, it is North America. Here we go. Maybe we'll get USA. Maybe we'll get Canada. Maybe we'll get Antigua and Barbuda. I certainly hope not. Ooh. Oh, dear me. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not having a shot for this one. Is it the star one? Is it the one with three red stars? Possibly. No, it's not. Oh my god. Oh god, I've just rubbed my eyes and I can't see anymore. Hello? Right, I've got something in my head. I literally own socks that have got these flags on, so I need to get it right, and that's what I've just suddenly thought of. So, it's something like... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, oh, same again. Good. But hang on, I need diamonds, so I'm gonna do this. Yeah, there you go. Get that flipped, please. Thanks. And then I need another one here. This is looking good. I think I'm probably gonna get the colours wrong, though. Okay, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Is it red instead of yellow? The yellow doesn't quite look right, I don't think. Let's try it. No, it's got to be yellow. Is it red on the sides? I don't think it is red on the sides. I think it's green on the sides. Ooh, that could be correct, you know. It doesn't feel quite right, and I think maybe it kind of needs stretching out a little bit like this so that it's smaller. Yeah, I think I'm probably still missing something, though. I feel like there's maybe a border on the top or the bottom, but I just can't remember what it is. All right, let's reveal the actual St. Vincent and the Grenadines flag. Oh, okay. So that'd be 
totally correct if I'd just done that. I'm actually really quite close, aren't I? I think that's another 75% of a point. Thank you very much. Okay, guess what? It's time for our last flag of the video, and we're on all countries, and I have to have a shot if I do not get a perfect score on this final one. What is it? Hopefully nothing. Oh, no. Um, well, I think I'm having a shot, <laughs> but I can hopefully get somewhere close. I think it's red with maybe black on each side. I will try that and see how it looks. Yeah, there you go. Hmm, yeah, it's quite a scary flag, the Angolan flag. And now this is where it gets tricky because the rest of the flag is just a quite complicated looking symbol. And I know it's something that's got a big curve. I think there's a weapon of some sort, but I, I don't know exactly what it is. I think it's like a big round blade. Oh, I'm going to have to have a shot, aren't I? <laughs> I don't want a shot. It's 6 p.m. I'll be honest, I'm just kind of drawing squiggles right now and hope that I stumble upon something that looks kind of correct. There you go. Wow, that's good. And then I'm just going to fill it in. If I was smart, I'd have drawn those lines afterwards so that this took a little bit less. There you go. I mean, that looks all right, to be fair. You never know. Might not actually have to have a shot. Here we go. Ah, uh, definitely have to have a shot. <laughs> well, you can see where I was going with things, but I'm definitely wrong. Be right back. All right, that was Drawing Flags Continent Edition. Thank you very much for watching. On screen right now is my score. Remember to... Whoops. Remember to subscribe to Jackson's Geography if you've not already, and I'll see you all later. <coughs>